Hey guys, so finally, after I don't know, 25 or 30 attempts, I got the achievement and the uh, new artifact weapon look for the Beastmaster Hunter. This fight is all about interrupting the boss, nuking the heads, and maybe surviving AoE damage. If you are lucky enough to have a Pridus, if you are lucky enough to have the legs, you don't need to worry about AoE damage in this fight. As for macros, I'm using two focus macros. Uh, the interrupt shot with a focus macro and I'm using intimidation also with a focus macro. Right, then let's do this. As for my pet, I'm using a standard DPS pet. You don't need a tanking pet. If the pet dies, you will get aggro. It takes a really long time at the, until the pet regains aggro, so taunt doesn't work at all. Choose Bloodlust Pets. I think this is the best pet for this fight. So, take the boss into focus. There are two bosses in here, the Worm and the Tauren. You need to nuke the Tauren until you can attack the Worm. There we go, first interrupt, use the trap. At least I use the trap. Not much going on, so I have time to pop it, to place it. Avoid the cross. The cross is massive damage. There we go, another cross. Cave in, avoid the cave in. Ed spawning, these are eggs. From the eggs, if you are not fast enough, they will hatch little worms, which will attack you and damage you. So the boss, the other boss submerges and is coming for you. You need to basically cat around so he targets you and comes through the patches on the ground. There we go, he's still following me. Now you have a bit time. Totem, nuke the totem and there we go. The next interrupt will follow soon, there we go. Interrupt rotation for me was the easiest one was um, um, intimidation, then the interrupt shot, and then the trap. Imitation is nice because you don't need to be in front of the boss to, to use it because you pet taunt, uh, stuns the boss. The interrupt shot is nice but you need to face your target to use it so as you see in this fight you are on the run all the way always and sometimes even not in front of the of your target so it's not reali reliable and the most tricky one at least for me was the trap when you use the trap be as close as you can to him because if you are far away from him, it takes so long until the traps, trap hits the target and interrupts the cast on the target. Yes, you see, this is a standard DPS pet, so from time to time you will need a bit of healing. But it's not no big deal. And kill the X. Another egg and cross again and there we go I've been stunned because the boss submerged and ran underneath me and stunned me and another trap for the interrupt boss stunned me again lucky me I could use the trap fast enough this fight is also a lot about luck, not just the skills. Here we go, next interrupt. Interrupt shot. A warm sub matches. Guide him through the patches. 
obviously he beats. Useful on this fight, save your cooldowns for AoE and for killing the eggs. So if the, if your Taran is alone here and you just need to ramp him, don't use any cooldowns at all, any DPS cooldowns. And avoid the cross. Here we go, totem will spawn soon. There we go, first. New totem, okay. My pet went for the wrong target. Happens. Cave in. So, avoid the cave in. Kite boss around or through the cave in. Don't get stunned <laughs> like me. Nuke the totem, nuke the heads. When the hedge, nuke the worms. If you got the legendary legs, stand still so you can heal up. Stand still! Stop running! There we go, totem. Priorities on this. Fight is obviously interruptibles, second one totem, third one at then avoid all the shit around. Here. So intimidation is the next I got of cooldown. Cave in. The cave in phase is the phase where you can relax basically, okay. Relax <laughs> when you can relax in here. Because this is a long cave in, and during the cave in, he doesn't cast this Fellfire and interrupt, interrupt. Totem. Add. Interrupt with full zone. There we go. Keep up the healing code on your pet, it really helps. And another trap. Another. I got intimidation and the interrupt shot. Use the interrupt shot if you can. Totem. A lot of ads. Now the fight is going even more intense. Don't ask me why I didn't pop Bloodlust yet. A lucky drop. Ice, block, uh, ice trap drop. Interrupt and nuke the totem. There we go. There we go, blah blah. At this point of the fight, this is the first time I hit this, obviously. Well, I didn't even know what, <laughs> what will happen next. No, this is not the end of the fight, but the hardest part is over. What will come next is the easy part, just stand there, enjoy and relax and burn down the big one. That's it. I wasn't sure I was still interrupting the one, but there's no need basically since, well, you have enough self-healing or should I? Yeah, just burn down. Was done. The one.
Yes, that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Well, I did for approximately four hours straight <laughs> and a lot of wiping. But this was really a funny fight. I really enjoyed it. Okay, see us. You need something? Go with it. 